back we go to handle on the law marginal legal advice hi dennis you're up yes sir um my reasonably wealthy parents left me a trust fund that is called a special needs trust yeah because i'm i'm on social security okay and they don't want it to interfere with my right. benefit. Right, I know. They're, they're and by the way, just to let everybody know, uh, normally I'd be screaming at Dennis for scamming the system, hiding assets, and getting Social Security. Special needs trusts are totally legal and totally legitimate. Uh, and the, the law allows these kinds of trusts and money to go through so it doesn't get in the way of the rules of Social Security, where Social Security rules uh, say if you receive any other money, it's deducted from Social Security. So I just wanted everybody to know that. Dennis, before they think you're a complete, utter, immoral scammer, okay? Well, I'm immoral, but not all much. Good for you, okay. <laughs> Listen, so what's going on here is my sister, uh, my younger sister, is smart to the crew, so she was put in charge of everything. It's a minor amount of money. It's only $25,000. And uh, my first offer from her when I learned of the trust was two fifty a month, but I told her that it with my Social Security. And uh, I'm currently in a wheelchair and homeless. Whoa! And, uh, and um, my my sister, I, I was recently in a hospital. I'm diabetic, and I had a toe amputated. And when they released me from the hospital, they didn't want me to go back out on the streets because of infection and whatnot. Right. Uh, they wanted me to go to the special home, but the special home place wanted me to sign over my Social Security check, which is easily done. But getting it back when you get out of the home is not easily done. Boy, you have a I, good good you have a good understanding of this stuff. I have to tell so you. I, I, I told uh, the hospital social worker, the hospital lost my cell phone somehow, and uh, so the only way I could communicate with my sister, being a long-distance call, was through the social worker at the hospital. She tried to run a scam on my sister for $1,500 a week or something like this. All I wanted was a motel room for two weeks. Yeah. And I put you know, All right. My sister said, screw it, I'm not giving him anything. Okay, Dennis, what, what, is, what, is, what, what, is, what is your question? I need a new trustee. My sister. Yeah, I, I, I'm, that's easy to get. That's easy to get. The problem is you have to get into court to have a new trustee named, and someone well, has to file. And there, it's 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 not a small deal. Uh, is that and, something I can do? Yeah, no, it's it's uh, it's not something I could do. Um, okay. Although you sure sound a lot smarter than I am. Um, I don't know. It's uh, you've got to find a lawyer, and there are you have access to the internet. Uh, I don't know how to do the internet. I'm an okay. old guy. I don't know. All right. Can you, a, can, you to, can you get to a can you get to can you get to a library? Oh yeah. Good. Then have the librarian help you with an internet search, and ask uh, tell the librarian sort of a very shortened version of what you just told me, and I've already say. Done that. And what did the librarian say? They put me in touch with attorneys and licensed judiciary, and none of which want to handle it because it's only twenty-five thousand dollars. Yeah, well, you don't need you don't need private attorneys. You need some governmental agencies. You well, need some. Way, my my sister, that the attorney, she is a licensed judiciary in the state of California. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. You're uh, uh, you're going to be arguing that she's screwing you. She can be licensed all she wants. And by the way, I don't even know what a licensed fiduciary is. I've never heard of licensed fiduciary, so... uh they yeah. will handle money. Uh, no, well, anybody can handle money. I can handle handles, money. I can, you know, anybody, money. anybody can be named a trustee under, uh, under one of these special needs trusts. As a matter of fact, anybody can be named a trustee under any kind of a trust. You don't have well, to be... My, my sister tells me that if I question the trust in any way, the trust will go away. That's not true. Your sister's lying to you. Your I sister's to, lying to you. You know what? I'm going to hang up on you. I'm about to kill you. I'm about to hang up on you, okay? you got to shut up just for a minute. You've got to find somehow through the librarian and say, I've got to find any pro bono organization, uh, anybody out there, because you're not going to be able to do it yourself. I mean, you can try, but it's going to go, you have to learn all the rules. So right. you, you basically have to sort of um, dip your toes into the water. Oh, <laughs> you can't because you lost a toe. That's right. Damn the bad luck. Yeah. Damn. So, uh, yeah, you, you've got a mess on your hands, and you have a complicated deal, and you don't have any money for a lawyer, and, uh, boy, are you caught within the system, Dennis. And, you know, the problem for you 
is uh, that not only are you completely screwed, you're s and and you I don't know what special needs you have because it certainly isn't your brain. I'm assuming your special needs are you can't walk and you're and you're short one toe. Is that about right? Well, what, what, what I asked, I went to Social Security and asked them. Uh, I told them about it. Say what can I do? And they told me that most people in this situation they're quite familiar with the church situation. And she said most people with this kind of money would go find a cheap place out in the desert, buy a piece of dirt in the trailer, and quit being homeless. And that was within the rules of social security. All right, but you have to get there. But you have to get there. Yeah, Richard, I mean, uh, Dennis, you need some help from somebody that gives free pro bono legal advice that helps, uh, like the national. How about you? How about me? No. No. No, I'm not going to help you for a bunch of reasons, Richard. Number one, I don't have any experience in this field. But even more, uh, more important, if I did have any experience, I don't like you enough to do this. I don't care. That, that's good with me. All right. Good guy. Good guy. And the problem is, and his other big problem is, usually special needs people, in terms of these very complicated trusts, have no idea what they're doing. He's smart enough to know he's in trouble. That's a problem. This is Handle on the Law. The news has been updated. Thank